All right, hello, hello, Geminis. And happy, happy birthday. These are gonna be your bonus birthday messages. I am doing this right as we shift into your energy. So wherever your birthday is, if you're a May baby or a June baby, happy, happy birthday. Um, I always like, so I've been doing this this year for all of the different zodiac signs on their birthday messages. I'm also opening up something new, a new cards, new decks. And I've been having a little fun with it to help give clarification, guidance. Um, anyways, let's jump into it. Um, sometimes these bonus messages, I'm going to see how it goes. There might be more than one. This is the initial one. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, this is the initial video. But I will try and link into the description or the comments any other bonus birthday videos. Um, and as well, you guys will be the first uh, for the month of June's messages. So look forward to that or check those videos out whenever you do get this. Okay, so as you can see, I've decided to pull in the Sacred Geometry Oracle cards. Interesting enough, um, I, I, there's two. And I don't, I'm going to see, these are different editions. It looks like by Francine Hart. I always love also, you know, uh, showcasing. And what's weird, so I want to share this, Gemini's, is... Uh, when I decided to actually purchase these, it was actually, I feel like it was like um, April's energy where I was really feeling guided in. And so I get different synchronicities and Francine Hart, H-A-R-T, which also to me is the deer, <laughs> a, a deer is a heart. Um, and I've had sacred geometry um, cards at, before but never hurt. So two different ones. I'm curious to see how they are different. And then these, I decided to pull mini verses. So uh, all of these are different bird houses. Okay. So you can, whatever you're more drawn to, these are really fun. My kids like to do this. So I'm opening these up and then I met my kids make it. But um, so they're going to be different plants or no, this one is, this one looks like it's going to be a plant. I swear it's supposed to be the bird house. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to start unveiling these. So uh, the first video, I'm going to jump into the Sacred Geometry uh, Oracle, the blue. Okay, so one's blue. Number two, I have Cycles of Healing by Alana Fairchild, artwork by Beth Wilson. And uh, we'll see what that one's about. And then for your monthlies and everything, I will be using the Tarot of the Sacred Kingdoms, uh, especially for June. But this is the bonus one, and then I'm going to incorporate these cards for all the different zodiac signs, okay? And then third message will be with the sacred geometry cards in the visionary path. This one says the visionary path, okay, by Francine Hart as well, but it's the red, you know what I mean? There's something beautiful. They're by the same author. I'm going to see how they, you know, are different or correlate. Anyways, I'm excited to get going. I love sharing these things, and I hope you do as well. Thank you all, Geminis, and once again, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Okay, I know I thought about, you know, you can skip for a few while. while I'm trying to unveil this. I feel like I don't want to leave, like, empty silence. <laughs> well, I'm, this is kind of cool. So these kind of, yeah, it's the bird home. So these ones are different. It's not just like an item you get. You actually make this. This is the mini verse. Make it mini. Um, it is for kids that are a bit older. I would say. I would say a minimum of ten, or you know, because you use this little silicone stuff. I'm all right. I don't know. It's not silicone. But anyways, oh, this is cool. <gasps> this one's neat. I don't know how to open it. We're doing this together. Oh. Okay, I'm all, oh, all right, we're going to see what it is. My name is, tweet, tweet, oh my gosh, look how cute it is, 410 on the clock, I'm just saying. So, pile number one, oh, excuse me, pile number one, but first message, first video with the sacred geometry, uh, with the blue, my name is tweet, there's a little bird in here, it's a hummingbird, oh, a hummingbird, oh my gosh, and the nest, so I want to open this up because this is too cute. If you're not into this, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is fun for me too. And my kids are going to love it. Oh, it's a little nest. Is the bird in there? I'm going to look. Tiny little bird. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. See if you can see it. A tiny little hummingbird. Oh, you fell out. And his little nest. Okay. Yeah. 
that's gonna be fun. So there's a bird house or something. So I'm seeing hummingbird. Hummingbird, the weirdest thing is I saw hummingbird. I also saw dragonfly and I kind of felt like bringing in some of the um, the animals actually for you guys too. So we'll see like the woodland warrens, excuse me, woodland wardens, the bestiary. Um, I don't know, we'll see what I decide to do for the monthly, what I, I might incorporate. So definitely the little hummingbird. Here's all your little pieces and your tools to put things together. All the instructions are there. That's what I'm saying. This is for older kids. And I, I'm going to give it to my kids when they get home from school. Uh, it's always like they love these little things for, uh, you know, uh, chore rewards and stuff like that. Okay, so then we've got the hummingbird nectar. Okay, wild thing. Hummingbird nectar. So to put in the hummingbird. These are cool. Oh my gosh. Wing things. Okay, you see? You fill it all up. And of course, there is then the instructions. I want to show you what the what's in this one. Okay. So I will put most of this stuff back. Uh, like the tools and stuff. I, I, I usually just take it out and then throw away the other stuff. Home sweet home. I'll leave that in the box. Yeah, it just has all the little... Hmm. Okay, where's the instructions? I know we're on we're on number one. <laughs> this is part of my fun too. <laughs> okay, these show all the potentials even. Ooh, these are cute. So there is potential to get plants with this. Um, looks like this is the hummingbird one. Oh, so there we go. So number one, hummingbird with the blue. Okay, now I'm gonna open the other one. Like I said, this is, I probably won't be getting messages. This is kind of for fun and guidance to see which one. Um, and then I'll open the, the boxes and get a quick message for your birthdays. Maybe even you see some hummingbirds or a hummingbird feeder. This actually makes me think of Sagittarius and Libra as well. Isn't that interesting? Huh? And Aquarian energy, just the air. Yeah, yeah. And change in direction. Okay, number one, hummingbird. Number two, the cycles of healing. These are gonna be interesting. I feel like they have some sacred geometry in them. It says soul activation and radiant manifestation through sacred words, colors, and mandala. And uh, during the the last, the month of May's messages, so Gemini's, if you haven't checked out your, your monthly for May, uh, I I kind of split that into three different sections too. So I'm going to decide if I want to do the same thing or if I want to split it into just first half and second half of June when we get to that. But this one came out through that and I so I kind of spotlighted it as ideas. This little charm made me think of that with the circle. So maybe really being drawn into the circle, even the shape, you know what I mean? And then the color. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, one more little, one more little piece of, these are kind of cool. These ones are definitely different, a little more challenging, but they're, the kids like them. And all the kids like them. If you get like one of those little black lights, they're like the gel, a thing that you would put your fingernails under and then it sets the gel. So anyways yeah i've been doing this for this year this is something new because i thought it's a cool way to kind of be you know guided <laughs> okay here we go number two let's do this i see a big thank you thank you what are we on time 907 908 909 okay i do want to say gemini's before i came up here i did see um there's some potentially leo energy i also see maybe eight august eight oh 806, 87. I also saw 63 and 64 in potential. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Elena Fairchild and artwork by Beth Wilson. Oh, okay. These are just the little tools to put the things together. Have a sunny day. Oh, there's something very flat in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just. I think you can recycle all these like extra stuff. Okay. What? Let's hang happy go i almost said go lucky so little piece of rope okay little piece of string 
Home sweet home. Whoa, there's a lot of boxes in there. Huh. I like that these come in these little boxes. I like those little boxes. I want to keep the little boxes rather than these, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a dork like that. What is this? Bird feed. <gasps> Bird feed. Tasty tweets. Tasty tweets. Oh, I'm seeing a cardinal potentially. So look at the cute little bird food. I told you these are going to be so cute. So fun. All right, let's see. Oh. The bird bistro. One roof and one base. Okay. Ooh, okay. Bird bistro. I'm all, I, got, I hope you guys don't mind. I know this is just... I'm kind of maybe unveiling it even. Maybe you have children and they're... They might be interested in doing little fun things or literally going and getting like real bird feeders, you know? Yeah, no. <laughs> this doesn't want to open. All right. I want to see what the bird is. Here's your, my name is Tweet. A chickadee. Oh, it's a chickadee. I don't even know. Peekaboo. It's a chickadee. One chickadee and a nest. You know, it'd be so cool. Like if you make any of those like minis or something and, uh, like, you know what I mean? You set up the little mini house. Okay, let's see the chickadee. Come on, chickadee. Here we go. This is a chickadee, guys. And look at the tiny little chickadee. <laughs> okay, number two is a chickadee. And there's a bunch of little food. Bird seed. And a pretty cool, looks kind of like that. I'm going to find it on the page so you can see what it looks like when you put it together. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, cute, huh? I'm all, oh my gosh, cute. <laughs> okay, chickadee. Chickadee, you're number two. In the healing circle. I'm put all the stuff back in here. Okay. Get the garbage out of the way. And I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay. So if you're really drawn into that one, there'll be some messages, especially with the healing circles and look for that video with the chickadee or the circles of healing. Uh, and you're welcome to listen to all and take whatever, you know, helps you, guide you, you know, whatever, however you're drawn in. I don't know. We're going to learn together. That's part of why I do this too. It's new. I'm not, I'm not claiming to be like a... Uh, a scholar, I guess I should say, on all these information here. Okay, chickadee. Better put chickadee back in here. Before. Okay. I do know uh, some of it, but I also love um, seeing what other authors and artists. And I, I think in this Francine Hart, well, this one is the author is Elena Fairchild and artwork by Beth Wilson. So sometimes it can be just even a review if you guys are into these things to see what you think of these cards as well. Maybe you'll be getting something like that for your birthday even. Watch you all, you all get, <laughs> you're all, you're all going to get like birdhouses <laughs> for your birthday. Uh, I, I actually got, which is interesting for Mother's Day, I actually got a hummingbird feeder. <laughs> so, I'm going to be setting that up. Okay, so number three is going to be the visionary path with the red sacred geometry. Let's see what your bird is. Here's the birdhouse. Oh, this one a real little house. Cute box. Okay. So, potentially, there you can get... So, I think there's you potentially get more than just... Oh, this is crazy. You got to build your birdhouse. Dude, oh, you got to build your birdhouse. Hmm. Okay. And put together a do it yourself. Home sweet home. What's in this one? And we'll see what bird you got here in a second. Bird's the word. <laughs> that makes me think of Peter Griffin. Bird, bird, bird is the word. Let's hang. Alright. That's for hanging your birdhouse, right? So we can hang. Okay, I want to just jump and see what the birdie is. My name is a cardinal. <gasps> There's three eggs with this one and a nest. The cardinal energy, guys. Aw. So, 
immediately, so for me personally, hummingbird and cardinal, I don't know much about the chickadee, but that's interesting. But cardinal to me is the, the same, a very similar energy. So let's think of that. A cardinal season is Aries, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. All right. Cardinals are usually a sign of a, a shift, a change, even, uh, Maybe you're dealing with that and and there's a baby here. Well, there's baby. So that's why I bring up the other signs too. It can give resonance for different Geminis that are listening. Oh, this one interesting. Dude, and you know what's so weird today? I want to share this. <laughs> As I decided to do this, so I literally saw a bird outside, okay? And my cat is the one who notified me because he gets all weird and he starts like talking. I don't know. He just starts making these weird noises and talking to the cat or like you know <laughs> or I mean talking to the bird outside because he sees it and I know he wants to just like attack it probably or chase it but um and I literally saw it I remember thinking my dogs shed so much <laughs> and I was like yeah do they really use do birds really use dog hair and things I saw the dog this little bird like picking up dog hair off of my outdoor porch and making a, so being, nests are being made. It's kind of crazy. Okay. That is the crazy little nest. And then three little eggs. Oh, how interesting. And the cardinal. So yeah, you, you set these up. You use these little tools. And put it inside a house. That's so cute. Okay. So cardinal is the red. And how beautiful is that? So when I took these out of the box and I set them around, you know, that's the other wonderful mystery of it. Um, so the red cardinal is the red cards and the three, the third path, even the third choice. Okay. What are we on time? 17.03. Hmm. Okay. I think I might just continue going with this instead of making multiple videos because we've got more time. Um, yeah, but I might still interlink. So, so cute. If you're drawn into the little cardinal and the house, let's see, I'm gonna show the picture of it as well. Number three, I feel like I might open these all and maybe just see the first one and then do a full video um, with tarot for each individual. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I decide I'm going to do. Okay, I want to see the bird. Okay, here it is. So inside, there's the birdhouse with the cardinal. You put the little eggs in. You build it. And there's... So, cool. These are exciting. My kids will have fun putting these little things together. Okay. I want to set the cardinal right there. So cardinal number three. Yeah, I took those ones out of there. I don't know why I did that like that, though. See, look, my my indecisive Libra-ness is popping and I feel it and it's all. Um, maybe you should just stop here and then let you choose. And you can welcome to listen to all of them. But um, I want to take a little break in between. I'm going to go and remove the plastic wrap to cut time. So check the description or the comments to jump to your video. And if it's not there yet, be patient. You know, especially if it, I just get it uploaded. I got away from to get uploaded before you can get them all interlinked. But happy happy birthday gemini's i hope you enjoy i'm excited for your june messages um yeah and learning something new Bye bye